All right, Caroline Stripling, here you go. Second NCAA tournament game. Jordan Walker had an interesting thing to say when we interviewed her for senior day. Okay. She said the team was told, leave the uniform better than you found it. Mm -hmm. Y'all have already done that with getting to that 2016 last year. Mm -hmm. How motivated are you to keep leaving that uniform better in 2023? Yeah, uh, I think we're all really motivated. Uh, one thing that keeps coming up uh, throughout the season is when you're in the Sweet 16, you literally have four games left until the national championship. And I think that we um, are really looking forward to getting back to that spot so we can make it even further. Because at this point, it's a new season, it's anyone's game, and we just want to make sure that we're uh, doing everything we can to win. Apparently, Knoxville is where five seeds <coughs> come to die. <laughs> and y'all end up with a 12 seed, and a very good 12 seed. Have you had time to even look at Toledo yet? I'm not sure where you are in the day's scout and practice, yeah. but what challenges does uh, Toledo present? Yeah, we've already uh, done film and scouted them out uh, in practice, so we're uh, getting more comfortable with them as the day goes on. Uh, we still might look at them some more, but I think that um, us being able to watch them after our game yesterday and um, in person and then watching them on TV, that definitely helped us a lot. Uh, they're a great team. They have got uh, they play four guards, uh, one post, so I think that we'll match up pretty well with them uh, on the inside and out, and I think that um, they're also a really fast team and they run a lot of sets, so we're excited to see what we can do against them. Being so busy at this time of year, I haven't had time to really look at a lot of social. Are, are, is your father still doing his travel <laughs> vlog videos? Yeah, he is. He actually started the first uh, dad documentary that he does after the season. He uh, did that before he left, so I'm sure there'll be a new one coming out soon. <laughs> and then I obviously asked the coach of uh, Coach Cull of, of Toledo. The scouting report, St. Louis coach said it too. It's focused on Rakia and Jordan Horst. Yeah. But she mentioned, the St. Louis coach mentioned, you know, Jordan Walker's the one that really gave us problems. How? Yeah. How good is it for this team that you could step up well beyond the so-called you know dynamic duo? Yeah, I think that um, that just speaks volumes to JoJo and everyone on this team. I think that um, you have to respect all fear none uh, from our aspect our point of view and their point of view so I think that having other people that can step up uh, when their the other team's game plans are geared toward taking away something we can just uh, have something else rise to the surface. Last thing for you, you know what Tennessee needs to do. What does Tennessee need the fans to do tomorrow? We need them to just show up like they always do, be loud. Um, I know we went on a huge 29-0 run yesterday and they were just kept getting louder and louder as we scored so we need that again and we're really excited to see what they do. All right, thank you Caroline. Yep.